Hi everybody, remember this from video 1726, well this was the product of thinking about rocket stoves. Now when you're thinking about rocket stoves what's actually happening is a pyrolysis. So the wood burns a bit, gets hot and all those gases and water get driven off but they're volatile gases and they get driven off up the chimney. If you're not lighting those gases you're not getting that energy which is why wood fires, an open wood fire is singularly the worst way to burn a bit of wood whereas something like this is singularly the best because you can drive those gases off and then you can use the heat to set those gases alight. Now, there is an issue with that, is you need more oxygen. So you've got to get more oxygen in there. And that was the motivation of these holes right here. Now, we could improve that if we preheated the oxygen by maybe putting a jacket around here. There's loads of things you can do. I went for the simplest to demonstrate the idea. So, we've got those gases coming off from the pyrolysis of the wood in this section here. The gases come to here, which is hot, we give them a bit more oxygen and of course they burn which is why the flames lick out of the top here and that was the process of thinking about this. However, back in the good old days when I was slavishly following everybody else's ideas, I made this. Now this works because it was made to a plan, somebody else's plan, not mine, and it works. And I introduced this which draws air along here, preheats it in this fern chamber, there's a little hole in here. And it does add a bit of extra oxygen, but it does beg the question, how much better, better in inverted commas, would it be if I replicated this? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a lot of holes around the bottom here to replicate the holes that we've got here, and we're gonna light it and see what we get. So let's drill some holes. So there we go, I've drilled 11 12mm holes this side and the same on this side. I haven't done this and I haven't done that and if you want to know why, the drill wouldn't reach. Why 11? I think it looks pretty. The idea obviously is burn here, gas is here, extra air, more flame, less soot. Now let's go and try it. It's making a vortex. Okay, and that's a look at the exhaust. Now there's no soot, no flames licking out, which is really cool, because although the flames look good, it does mean that the combustion isn't complete within the chamber, and here we have complete combustion and all that's coming out there is hot gas. Okay, you can see nothing coming out of there but heat haze. No smoke, no flames. That's good, it's a bit, bit disappointing there's no flames because they're cool to see, but it does mean incomplete combustion. All the combustion of the gas is right there, you can see it there. So the fuel goes in here, we get pyrolysis where the fuel burns, this gets hot, the gases come to here, get an extra bit of air, and off they go, rocketing away. That's an air intake. I put these here, bit of a guess. They're probably better here at the bottom where we get a better mix, but those holes make a huge difference to how this performs. So this poor thing is in some abuse, hasn't it? It's been through lots of iterations. But this is the final thing that I think is really awesome. And what I'm gonna do now is get the steel in for that final design. It'll look just like this. There'll be a row of holes right there though, because it answers a lot of questions that people have been asking. How do we make it for a hopper feed? Well. Fuel goes in there, put a hopper on there. Air and clean right there. This goes up your ordinary chimney or attach a flue to there. That, that will be your air draw so we get a complete burn. We'll stick some legs on it. And we have a fairly sturdy beast that will heat our home on solid fuel. So that's what the next video will be. A lot of those bits and it'll be a start to finish how to make this design that we've come up with. And we've come up with the design by going through a lot of iterations and reading about how gasification works so we could take those ideas of gasification and build them into our stove. Hope you've enjoyed the exploration, hope you enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.